welcome. to start your day a little differently. Yes, we are NZ Trio, and there's four of us, and that doesn't make sense, does it? But I have the absolute privilege of being the manager for this wonderful group. Three of New Zealand's top classically trained musicians who just over 10 years ago got together and formed NZ Trio. Let me introduce them. There's Justine Cormack, our violinist, Sarah Watkins, our pianist, and Ashley Brown, our cellist. Together they bring contemporary and classical music to audiences throughout New Zealand and overseas in concerts, festival performances, and collaborations with other performing arts organisations such as NZ Dance Company and the theatre company Massive. So last year, we kicked off our program for high schools called NZ Trio Live with Birkenhead College in May during New Zealand Music Month. And we did this to raise the awareness of contemporary classical music as an industry in New Zealand and the fact that we have world-class musicians working here in this country. Last year, Birkenhead's head of music, Mr Donaldson, introduced NZ Trio as one of the country's top bands. So I hope you agree. Here they are, <coughs> NZ Trio.
by New Zealand composers, and they've written these works especially for us. So that first piece was called Mambo Rambo, and it was by a Wellington composer called Gareth Farr. And Gareth is a good friend of ours, and he happens to be a percussionist as well, so here it's a really rhythmic, rhythmic, exciting kind of a piece. And he's written a lot of music for big events, um, including part of the opening ceremony for the Rugby World Cup last year, so you might have heard some of his music without even knowing it. Um, but that piece we did recently perform with a dance company, as Vanessa mentioned. So it was really exhilarating having live dancers on stage with us dancing throughout it. Uh, I guess one of the advantages of having such a small musical community in New Zealand is that uh, all of these people who are composing music for us are our friends. Same with uh, Gareth Farr and same with the next composer. Um, her name is Rachel Clement. She was <coughs> in Dunedin when she wrote this piece for us and uh, I guess when she was um, writing it for us she had just seen an exhibition of uh, Glass, glasswork, and so she's describing musically the um, the various states of glass when it's kind of melty or when you can blow it and that kind of thing. So uh, this is called Submerso, and um, you might notice uh, Sarah on piano lean into the piano and kind of fiddle around in there. Don't be worried, she's not hurting the instrument at all. It's all supposed to happen.
but can all the, all the effects of different sorts of sounds that you might be um, uh, expressed about or different types of glass. So part of our um, concept programming that we like to do is to mix up old and new works. But one of the things which is really important to us and always has been is commissioning New Zealand composers. So in the 11 years that we've been together we've commissioned something like 30 New Zealand works for the trio and we keep building on it. So by the um, by the end of our time together, which hopefully is way down the track, there'll be a whole um, big collection of new piano trios. So we're really proud of all our commissioning and the composers that we work with. Uh, so for our last piece for you today, uh, we're going to play uh, one more obviously New Zealand piece um, by a very famous New Zealand composer. His name is John Sarthus. Um, you might be able to tell by his last name that uh, he's of Greek heritage. Um, probably most famous for uh, writing, writing the music for the opening ceremony of the Athens Olympics a few, a few years back. Um, but this is a great piece. It's his third, um, third of three songs called Island Songs. Um, just really energetic and fun. We hope you enjoyed this. Um, and nice to meet you.
What an absolutely stunning way to start the morning. And we have been especially lucky because out of the five schools, we are the only school that get to witness, listen to this superb music. I particularly would like to thank the group, it's been wonderful. And I also would like to um, express my appreciation of the links between, it's lovely to see that you're actually also working with New Zealand composers and I think that is a very positive thing for the music community in, in New Zealand. So once again, please to express your appreciation. <laughs>